Gymkhana stuff got started for me basically as a simple way for me to get extra seat time to practice for a rally. I went out and did one just for fun. Absolutely fell in love with it, so I, I built a Gymkhana specific car to go do that organizer's future event. He quit doing the series, uh, so I had this amazing car and, and nothing to do with it, so thus I went out and made the first Gymkhana video. For me, Gymkhana is uh, an amazing feeling because it's, it's very similar to the, the things that I love in rally, like sliding, sliding the car at speed. It's fun. I'm a lucky <laughs> that I get to go out and do this stuff. It's a, it's a very fun process from playing rally games as a kid, you know, to now being involved in, you know, the top level video games for rally in the world. Having a Gymkhana element in a game like Dirt 3 just adds a whole new aspect of fun ways to do things with the car. Going through a course and trying to do it for a time or for style points is, is always fun, but on top of that, being able to use those courses just to go out and learn the techniques of driving, driving those cars and to be able to just kind of, you know, hoon around and have fun. My favorite obstacles, uh, it would probably be some of the jumps. Dirt 3 is a great game because they've taken the best aspects of Dirt 2 and made them better, and then thrown Jim in. So for me, it's, it's all the fun stuff that I, I love, you know? Obviously, going as fast as possible down a, a rally stage, plus being able to hoon the car around in the Jim Connor area. Jim Connor's Absolutely one of the funnest things that I do, being able to go out and abuse one of my Gymkhana cars for any time of day is, uh, is always a good time.